Hello, I'm Tom Hill, and I'm a Solutions Architect on the Cloud Search team, and I'm going to talk to you today about generating SDF for Cloud Search. I'll talk to you about what SDF is and when you would use it, and we'll show you how to generate SDF from Java using JSON. And in later presentations, we'll take a look at how you can generate SDF from a database such as Amazon RDS or Amazon S3, and use that to generate SDF for loading into Cloud Search. So SDF stands for Search Data Format. This is the format used to upload your data to Cloud Search. Now there are two forms you can use for SDF. There's JSON, which is typical JavaScript object notation, and you have a, a set of headers, type, ID, version, language, and then you have a set of fields with a name and a value. In XML you have the same information, just formatted slightly differently. And which one you choose doesn't really matter, but typically you'd use whichever one you're already using in your application. For this demo, we're going to use JSON since it's slightly easier to generate in Java. Now for this demonstration, we're going to use a few things. We're going to use the Java programming language. We're going to use a couple of classes from the AWS SDK for Java. And just for demo purposes, we're going to use the Eclipse Java IDE. You can use your own IDE or any editor or command line tools you want to follow along. Now let's get started with our demo. We're going to build a project in Eclipse. We're going to add the AWS SDK for Java to the project. We're going to write a small Java class to generate some sample SDF. And we're going to post the resulting output to Cloud Search. Now we're going to create our test project in Eclipse. Don't worry if you're not using Eclipse. We'll get to the Java code soon enough. So we're going to create a project called Cloud Search SDF and just accept all of the defaults. All right, one thing we want to do now is we're going to add a folder that we can put some jar files in. In particular, we're going to download the AWS SDK for Java, and we're going to add it to our project. So we just search for AWS Java SDK, click through, find the download button. Now we download the SDK. It'll take a brief period to download. And then we'll just open this up in, in Finder and double click on it to unzip. And there's only one file we need in here. We need the main jar file for the AWS SDK for Java. There are lots of other things in here, source code, examples, etc. But for now, we just need the main SDK. And we're just going to drop it in to the lib directory, just paste it in there. And then we're going to add it to our build path. All right. Now we're getting ready to go. We're going to create a Java class. And again, we're going to call it Cloud Search SDF. And here we go. All right, let's get started creating the Java class. As I mentioned, we're going to do with this with JSON. So we're going to create an object of type uh, JSON object. And we're going to put values in for all of the fields in the document. All right, so we're going to have, I'm going to use the IMDB sample database. So we're going to add a title a director, and some actors. And we're using the fields.accumulate method because that handles multi-valued fields the way that Cloud Search wants them to be handled. All right, so now we have our data. So now let's just print that out. So it turns out that JSON object has a handy two-string object that does pretty printed JSON. And here we're going to, we've imported the JSON object class and we're adding a throws clause just to make everything work. And then we're going to run this and take a look at the output. There we go, let's zoom in on the console so we can see all of the output. And there you have all the fields, actor, the multi-valued field, and then you've got the director and the title as well. All right, so we're not done yet, right? Now we have all of our fields, but that needs to be part of an SDF document. So let's create an SDF document object. Again, this will be a JSON object. And then we're going to add the required headers to it. So we, we're going to use put this time because they only have one value. So the type is add. All right, we're going to add an ID value, and that can be any sort of string you want it to be. And we're going to add a language. Right now, Cloud Search only supports English, so we're going to do lang en. And then we need a version number. Now, I like to just use a timestamp for the version number. That way, when I generate a newer version of the document at some point in the future, it will have a higher timestamp, so it will replace the previous timestamp. Simplest way to do that in Java is just with a date object and get the number. 
All right, now we've got to import the date class. That's good. So now we're going to, of course, add the fields to our document. And then let's change the print statement so it prints out the document and make sure that everything looks good. So let's shrink this tab down and zoom in on the output. And you can see we still have all of our fields, but now we've added all of the headers, ID, lang, type, and version. So now we have a document. But that's not the last thing we need to do. Now SDF documents get added to Cloud Search in a batch. So we're going to create a batch, which is actually an array of documents. And so we're going to take the batch and add our document to it. And we only have one document now, so that's all we have to add. We'll change this to print out the batch, import the, the class. Oh, and I, it should have been put, not add. And we run this, and then we zoom into the output. And there, you can see little square brackets around the edges indicating that's a member of an array. We only have one document now, so it's a one element array. But everything we need there now is ready to post to Cloud Search. So let's grab that, copy it, and let's open a console window, and let's create an SDF document. So we're going to enter imdb.sdf. We're just going to paste the data in there, and then all we have to do is use the cspostsdf command, tell it the domain we want it to go to, imdb, and give it the name of the file the data is in. And there we go. We have generated an SDF file and successfully posted it to Cloud Search. CS Post SDF is one of the command line tools for Amazon Cloud Search. If you haven't installed that yet, in the developer guide for Amazon Cloud Search, there's a section entitled Installing the Command Line Tools for Amazon Cloud Search, which will explain the setup you need to do for CS Post SDF. Now that you understand how to generate SDF, you can loop through the rows in a database, or the contents of an S3 bucket, or the items in a DynamoDB table. And for each object, you can generate SDF add those documents to a batch, and upload the batch to Cloud Search. So you are now ready to begin indexing your data in Cloud Search. Thank you very much for listening. And for more information, please go to aws.amazon.com slash cloud search.